Japan just fully released fully functioning female robots. For many years, Japan has been at the forefront of robotics technology, and its robotic innovations has astounded the rest of the globe. Japan is the only country with the top 10 industrial robotics businesses in the world. It also has the world's greatest concentration of robot workers. In this video, we will be looking at some of Japan's fully performing robots. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel a platform where you can get all the latest updates and news about a large spectrum of science, technology, entertainment, and whatnot. So hurry up and subscribe to the channel to get the regular dose of awesomeness from us. Without any further ado, let's start. Erika is one of the Japanese successful projects on the robot. She is considered one of the most beautiful and intellectual humanoid robots, which changed Japan's robotic culture. The Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, Osaka University, and the University of Kyoto collaborated on this advanced humanoid robot. In the field of industrial robotics, Japan has remained the world's leading exporter of robots in terms of both dollar value and number of operating units. In 2012, Japan delivered 3.4 billion yen worth of robots, accounting for over half of the global market share. In Japan, there were close to 300,000 functioning units, accounting for around 23% of the global market share. With highly competitive research, developments, and applied technologies, Japan leads the world in robotics. As the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games approached, firms such as Toyota used the opportunity to show off new human-robot interactions that will connect with visitors and assist players on the field. The world's attention is now focused on Japan, and with good reason. In the face of rapid global aging and greater automation, Japan's robot-friendly presence may be everyone else's future. As Japan's population ages and its workforce decreases, robots are being used in nursing homes, companies, and schools. What could be greater than a robot as a guardian for the elderly? Robear, the strong robot with a delicate touch, is a patient care robot with a soft appearance that is said to be strong enough to lift elderly Japanese people into wheelchairs and deliver them to the bathroom, but kind enough to support them as they sit down. Robots can assist customers in different languages and locations like hotels, hospitals, and restaurants, where touchscreen menus are already widespread in Japan. Meanwhile, government schemes continued last year. After a $2.3 million subsidy from the Education Ministry, robots began to be deployed in 500 schools around Japan to assist in the teaching of English. As a result, Japan's younger population may be more comfortable among robots in a variety of settings. The future of the medical field may be shaped by robotics as well. Japan's advancement as the most sophisticated robot country is due to a combination of high-level technology and the impact of Japanese robot culture. Since the 1950s, Japan has produced a plethora of robot-themed comics, books, and animation. Talking about humanoids again, Meme is a female-looking humanoid robot developed by Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology. Meme is 158cm tall and weighs 43kg with the battery pack attached. She features a realistic head and face, as well as the physique of a typical young Japanese woman based on the Japanese Body Dimension database from 1997 to 1998. She has 30 body electric motors and an additional 8 for facial expressions, allowing her to move like a person. Meme can also recognize environmental sounds and respond to voice using speech recognition software. Meme can also sing using the Vocaloid Vocal Synthesizer. In Japan, new robots provide individual customizing services, particularly in terms of the materials used. It's made of a one-of-a-kind silica gel that looks and feels almost like actual human skin. Furthermore, the robot has a steady temperature system inside during operation, which is similar to that of a real human, independent of body temperature or texture. Researchers are currently implanting artificial intelligence chips on robots, as we all know. As a result, this Japanese female bio-robot can connect to home gadgets such as air conditioners and televisions, as well as control them remotely. Female robots can also replace humans in routine household activities such as cleaning, cooking, and washing clothing, thanks to the perfect construction of artificial intelligence chips and joints. The robotics industry in Japan has a promising future because the Japanese government and businesses are counting on automation to help the economy, which has fueled a national love for robots. 
Furthermore, Japan serves as a model for many economies in terms of effective technology application. In terms of creativity and sustainability, the Japanese robotics industry is positioned to remain the finest in the world. People are social beings who require interaction with others. Although some people dislike doing so, companion robots were created to suit these demands. We've known about them for years, but all we've heard about them are robots with companion and communication functions. Despite their proximity to humans, they are still subject to some inherent limitations. But now Japan has released a female robot that defies convention by including a uterus in the robot's construction, allowing the robot to imitate childbirth. This female machine can imitate the entire process of human birthing with the use of huge and small pieces and many sensors in the human body. In other part of Japan, students cheered as a rectangular robot chugged noisily up and over a 15 cm incline in Iwaki, Fukushima Prefecture, a glimpse of the hurdles that awaited at the Fukushima No. 1 nuclear power plant. Takumi Takeda and two other students at his school developed the robot. The probe, which will mostly offer a video feed, will be sent into one of the plant's damaged reactor buildings in April or later. Their robot is little in size, but it is huge in the decades-long process of decommissioning the crippled nuclear complex. Along with many more robots to be introduced, the most difficult aspect of the endeavor is recovering melted nuclear fuel from the reactors. However, even 11 years after the triple meltdown at the facility, radiation levels inside reactor buildings remain extraordinarily high, preventing operators from inspecting the structures. Instead of humans, robots like the one designed by Takeda and his team will be used to collect photographs and movies of inaccessible locations. Takeda is now fully devoted to doing whatever he can to aid in the daunting work of decommissioning by developing robots. He, on the other hand, did not initially sign up for this. He became involved in the project because of his real interest in robots. He was a third grade kid living in inland Sukagawa City in the prefecture when the nuclear disaster occurred on March 11, 2011, far from the plant on the prefecture's coast. The robotics industry in Japan has a promising future because the Japanese government and businesses are counting on automation to help the economy, which has fueled a national love for robots. Furthermore, Japan serves as a model for many economies in terms of effective technology application. In terms of creativity and sustainability, the Japanese robotics industry is positioned to remain the finest in the world. With this, I would like to end this video. We hope that you liked and enjoyed it. If you like our content, make sure that you like our video. And do share your views and opinions with us in the comment section below. Do subscribe to the channel to receive regular videos from us. And don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.